the latest tax disclosure from Meghan and Harry's Archwell Foundation is causing a stir, and not in a good way. Oprah, once a generous donor, has apparently had enough and pulled the plug on her funding. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle is under fire for allegedly stockpiling a whopping $10 million, casting a shadow over her philanthropic credibility. The foundation, which has been basking in the glory of royal philanthropy, seems to be in a financial quagmire. They've put their 2022 Form 990 tax form out there, trying to sell the narrative of philanthropy being more than just throwing money at problems. However, their financial report tells a different, less flattering story. Let's talk numbers. Donations have nosedived by a staggering 81% since Oprah closed her wallet. This isn't just a drop, it's a freefall. The foundation's overhead costs are sky high and the reasoning behind it is baffling, if not outright irresponsible. Employee expenses have soared by 60%. And guess what? Some of these employees are juggling roles in both the profit and nonprofit sectors of Archiewell. Now with their for-profit ventures with Spotify and Netflix not exactly raking in the cash, these employees are leaning on the nonprofit's dwindling funds. In 2022, the foundation received a measly 15% of the previous year's funds. The grants they doled out also took a nosedive, dropping by over 50%. But here's the kicker. Their non-grant-making expenses went through the roof, jumping from $890,000 in 2021 to $1.4 million in 2022. Employee-related expenses alone ballooned from $163,000 to $640,000. Why on earth would a charity that's only bagged $2 million in donations need to splurge nearly a quarter of that on three full-time employees? This is not just questionable, it's borderline absurd. And let's not forget the fees for independent contractors, which also spiked from $325,000 in 2021 to $428,000 in 2022. As the foundation's coffers have shrunk, we're talking a pathetic $2 million in 2022 compared to $13 million in 2021, one has to wonder why they're ramping up their spending. Now about that $10 million mystery money Megan allegedly pocketed, it's nowhere in the tax forms. If that doesn't scream shady, what does? And to add insult to injury, the Sussexes, who love to play the philanthropy card, haven't coughed up a dime for the Invictus Games or Wellchild. It's a slap in the face to the causes they claim to champion. The glaring omission of donations to previously supported groups like World Central Kitchen raises even more red flags. It begs the question, what are Meghan and Harry really up to with Archiewell? The numbers don't lie and they paint a picture of a foundation that's more about self-serving interests than selfless giving. This debacle is not just a PR nightmare. It's a case study in how not to run a charity. The Sussexes need to get their act together and fast. Their foundation is hemorrhaging credibility as quickly as it's losing funds. And if they don't turn things around, they might just find themselves without a foundation or a leg to stand on.